Hey guys, Tyler at North 40 Fly Shop in Coeur d'Alene. Today we are going to tie a bullet head squala. So coming into springtime here, one of the main hatches in the in the, the northwest is the squala, one of the first big stone flies that we see of the year. And a lot of guys really anticipate this hatch. It's a great one. Um, some places we start seeing them as early as uh, late February, first part of March, um, through March and April. Uh, but this has been a good one. I've uh, fished over the years. It's got a little bit of a poly underwing, helps it float a little bit. A little egg sac to kind of represent the female uh, laying eggs. But really cool looking little fly. It's got a foam body on it, so it's going to float like a core. Poly wing helps float. Um, great, great fly. This is one of my go-to squall patterns when I'm fishing that hatch. But uh, I'll show you how to tie it. All right, so we're using a, this is going to be a size 8, uh, I believe a 203. Uh, umqua. So I'll go ahead and tie in. We're using a fairly heavy thread here. This is 210 denier Danville's flat wax and a yellow. So go ahead and get tied in. We're going to move back to just past the bend of the hook here. This hook has a sloping bend to it, so we're going to come back a little bit beyond the hook point. Um, next, we're going to use uh, some black ice dub and we're going to create a, an egg sac for this guy, give a little flare. So I use a fair bit. Go ahead and get your dubbing put on there. Scoot it up. And just wrap in one spot here, creating a ball for the, for the egg sac. There we go. Nice and neat. Okay, next we're gonna do the tail. We're doing some goose biots in brown. What you want to do is get these guys reversed here against each other, kind of splayed out. Kind of like so, if you can see that in the camera. Okay. Go ahead and split the hook. Get one on each side. Tend to just sit and hang out a little bit there. There we go. Cool. Okay, then bring your thread forward. Okay, next we're going to do is uh, our body. And we're using Rainey's Episote foam here. Has a nice look to it. It's olive, has that good squalor look. Nice and squishy too, so it's going to compact really well when we tie this in here, you'll notice. It's going to compress down quite a bit. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and next, let's get our hackle tied in. So we're going to do some whiting brown. Go ahead and prep your feather, get a stem started here. Tie him in right back there. Okay, bring the bobbin forward. And next we're going to give this guy a little bit of reinforcement. So I'm going to do just a touch of super glue or a little zap a gap. And I apply it with my bodkin here and just a touch on there. And that foam is going to pick that up and really help hold that fly together. So now we're going to wrap and give it a good stretch. I don't really want to bulk it up too much here. So every time I'm wrapping, I'm giving a little bit of a stretch there. That's good. Tie that in. Trim your excess. Good. Okay. And then we're going to run our hackle. Forward. That's good. Tie that off. Okay, next we're going to do our underwing here. So a little bit of gray poly wing or widow's web. And get a better piece here. So a little fuzzy poly. I want to measure I want about as long as the tail is there. I'm going to come slightly forward here to kind of create a little bit of a taper up front. Good. And trim. Good. Okay, next we're going to do our wing, our overwing. Little elk hair. I'm going to use about yay much there. Trim out your underfur. stacker here. Get it 
down to the amount we want. A little bit thick. That's good. Alright, so I'm gonna measure. We want about the length of the wing there. I'm gonna stack this one more time. Don't like how that looks. trying to do there is trying to get this hair it's got a little bit of natural curvature to it to kind of sw sweep back along that same arc here you know so when you guys are picking your hair out you may want to look for that or try and find some hair that's straighter but it kind of looks cool when it has that swoop to it trim bring your bobbin nice and close to the poly wing tie that in Again, this is why I'm using a pretty heavy thread. We're using a pretty generous amount of hair there. And you gotta put some good pressure on that thread. All right, cool, got our wing in. Now we're gonna do our bullet head. Same thing, we're gonna use uh, elk hair again. So I'm gonna, again, take a fair amount here, guys. You know, as you're learning fly tying, you're gonna learn that uh, any deer hair, elk hair, as you guys are tying with it, it's hard to add to it later, so I always take more than you think you need. You know, just whittle it down to the proper amount. You know, you've got a lot, sometimes a lot of under fur there that you need to clean out. So, kind of like picking fruit out at the grocery store, you want to select it. Take it out of the pack in the fly shop and look at it. Alright. Look where we want to be here. Looking good. Bullet heads are kind of tricky, guys, so they take a little bit of practice. So get your bobbin all the way up towards the eye here. We're gonna set set that hair in there, do the pinch move with your thread, get a couple wraps on there, start compressing, and then let it roll. Bring it all the way around. Throw a few back in there. And then I'm going to come in and trim some of these butt ends down here so they don't show through your bullet head when you're all done. Some guys will go and just depending on the, the pattern or maybe your hair, you may actually put a ball of dubbing right behind the, the bullet head there to give it a little bit more round look to it. I'm going to come back through, clean this up here. Bring your thread back where you want it. finger right in the middle there get it to kind of flare out make sure you can get your eye open and then cup it back soft wrap and then we're going to crank her down get rid of those guys there all right looking good all right so i'm going to come underneath here and expose the belly you can see that there opens up the hackle cleans it up just a little bit all right, moving along, rubber legs. So we're gonna go with these brown and black variegated centipede legs or silicone legs, whatever you want to call them. So I usually get my set. I, so there's two here and I'll set them right up on top. Some guys do one at a time. I found if you just get them right up on top and you can separate them off the sides like so. Okay, more about a finish fly here. Clean it up and then shorten my legs just a little here. Looking good, looking good. Right, last, a little bit of head cement. Okay, right on your thread there. And I actually come into the bullet head as well. Underneath. And there we go. 
All right, so there's your bullet head squala. Um, it's coming up, guys. So late February, first part of March, uh, Yakima River, Clark Fork, Pitterboot. Um, this is the the first big fun bug we get of the year, and it's a great hatch if the water's conducive. It's uh, uh, really, really, really fun hatch to fish. So there you have it.